It's just a very quick video from me that requested uh, by one of the viewers in my comments and I thought this would take two seconds to film so I'll just quickly film it on my phone and just upload this. So what should you do on exam day? So that was their question and in fact I'm going to change that to what should you do the night before exam day? Because on exam day you want to do very little. What should you do the night before? Make sure everything is packed. Like This is what your mum will tell you, but I'm going to tell it to you as well. Make sure you've got your water bottle ready. Make sure you have uh, all the kind of equipment that you might need, so be it your uh, any pens, pencils. I know most of them now you get a whiteboard when you go, so just check with the exam centre or an email. You know, Check with the website, depending on which exam you're doing, wh where you're doing it, all these sorts of things. Make sure you leave all these stupid little silly things certain for exam days you on exam day you don't have to worry about all these little annoying little things so okay what else should you do the night before is have a nice meal i think that's actually really really important have a nice meal so it can be tempting to you know have a meal deal and just like cram in revision i think it's really really useful to have a nice meal for two reasons Firstly, all the stuff about biology and energy and all that sort of stuff, maybe eat some carbs, whatever, or have just food that you really, really enjoy it, maybe order a takeaway, whatever. It doesn't have to be super healthy. But secondly, you can sit down and kind of almost meditate if you like, chill, and maybe if you're with your family, they'll obviously know you have a big exam the next day. They can provide you with some words of support. You know, everyone's different. But your family probably know you the best. And so if they can give you any support, they've probably seen you go through stressful times, uh, difficult periods in your life. And they kind of probably have a better idea than I do, who've never met you before, how to kind of best prepare you. So that's something I'd really recommend. You can sit down, have dinner with family or friends or whatever, whatever you find comfortable. But take some time to not think about the exam, to not be doing a past paper, not be watching a maths video, not be writing a you know, cheat sheet or whatever thinking and doing nothing to do the TAA, you can maybe discuss the exam. That's what I'd say you should do the night before. Make sure you get a, a good night's rest. That is actually so important. Like, be, like be, beyond everything, that's probably, in terms of marginal gains of what you can do in the last 24 hours, that's probably the biggest thing. Getting a good eight hours sleep. So if you have to, schedule it in. Literally put in your calendar, or I'm going to go to bed at 11 p.m. and then wake up at 7 a.m. or whatever, whatever works for you and your, your timing. Secondly, what should you be doing on the day? It should be as little as possible, in my opinion, in terms of learning, revision, whatever. Maybe you are someone who likes to cram, in which case maybe it's you might want to just be casually reading over a past paper. If you are frantically reading over a paper thinking, oh gosh, I don't know this technique, oh no, I don't know this, that's the worst mindset to go into an exam with. If you want to have a look at a past paper or have a look at a math video where they show a technique and go, okay, cool, that's nice. I hope, it, I hope something similar comes up. And if that's your, mental, uh, your attitude towards it, great. That's absolutely fine. What you don't want to do is watch um, a video, watch, uh, sorry, do a past paper, read a question, whatever, and then put your brain in a mode of panic because you might go, oh, I don't know that. I've not seen that before, whatever. So on the exam day, if you want to, don't do anything. Chill. Make sure you have a good breakfast. Make sure you know where you're going. All those silly things. I think I discussed this in a video before. Make sure you have, so the night before you should have your bag packed and make sure that's there. If the night before you also want to have like a to-do list for what to do on the day and physically write it down and, you know, stick it on your forehead or stick it on the fridge or stick it on the front door so you don't miss it. Things like this you're going to appreciate on the day. On the day you want minimal stress. That's not specifically for the TMUA or for the MAT. I think that's just in general good exam advice because exams annoyingly are super, super stressful. They, I wish they weren't. And for most people, they are annoyingly very, very stressful. So uh, this is just from my own experience, less so as a math teacher, but more as just someone who's done a bunch of exams in their time of things that have worked for me to kind of minimize stress. And overall, minimizing stress is the thing that I think has given me the most kind of time value. Now, if you're watching this the night before, well, thank you. I, I'm going to hopefully wish you the best of luck. No, sorry, I, I am wishing you the best of luck for tomorrow, hoping it all goes um, as, as, as well. Obviously, you've prepared a lot. You wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't care about the exam, you didn't care about the results. You would just be like, ah, you know what? I've got to do this exam tomorrow. Who, who cares? So the fact that you are actually trying to get some, some, adva some, some advances in the final stages shows that you really, really care. And that's important. You've tried hard. Whatever happens, happens. The exam paper's already been written. There's 
you can't guess what's going to be in the exam and it's not like that what's going to be in the exam can change it's already been written it's probably written months ago and that exam will be there tomorrow yeah <laughs> cool i don't really know what i was saying there but yeah make sure you have everything planned if you want to have if you you know you're someone who gets a little bit nervous on exam day that's totally normal maybe just i'm sure your parents or family or whatever they will know that you have this exam maybe speak to them they'll, they'll know how to best deal with you maybe it's the case that you know what on the morning of exam day your parents give you breakfast in bed or something i don't know that oh, that'd be lovely wouldn't it um or something like that just to kind of make you nice and easy and relaxed as possible the, mor the moral of this video or the, the thing to take from this video is on exam day you want to be as relaxed as possible going in to that exam and so you're comfortable going in and you can really go at the start of the exam taking a deep breath cool and then boom really really fast paced now that being said one thing that i found helped me a lot i think actually in particular with gcse's are actually slightly lower level but i think could also apply here is actually not cramming but just half an hour or so before the exam just reading maths or discuss thinking maths and it's not for the sake of learning it's just switching the maths uh, light switch on in my head so basically it's just warming up the maths uh, neurons or whatever in my brain so that when it gets to starting the exam they're already fired i was like cool let's go so maybe what you could do is just have your i i'd say here it's not volume you don't want to be going and you know taking a whole you know ring binder full of notes and reading through them all i would just say maybe just take a atm ua pass paper and just have a look through some of the questions and you just go oh, cool nice question and maybe ones that you've got the working out already written on so you don't you're not actually trying to solve the problems you're just going oh okay cool geometric series you're just reminding yourself that geometric series are a thing you're just reminding yourself that this is a thing just to slowly get your brain into that mode in the same way you know if, if i'm speak french fluently um, but i haven't spoken it in in a few weeks or in a few few months and i'm about to go to france maybe just in the airport i have a little little duolingo run or something like that um but yeah best of luck i'm gonna stop waffling on this was supposed to be like a two minute video it's now seven minutes best of luck for tomorrow best of luck for the exams you are going to smash it and yeah let's 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 uh let's let's leave some positive words you know we're all in this together uh, as was once said by high school musical people and leave some comments uh, in in the comment section down below maybe give some advice maybe as i say all i'm doing in this video is giving you advice based off of my experience maybe there's something that's worked really really well for you and i think it'd be super valuable for other people's um so drop that in the comments below i'm going to be continuing to uh, upload a few more tmua solution videos and mat ones as well in the coming days to give you the best preparation let's go smash it